I'm back! Spuckets Fix, Game 5, Final Boss Warriors. It's been an amazing series so far, all tied up 2-2. Two to two. It comes down to the crucial Game 5. I'm not going to tell you anything to watch in this game. Just watch the scoreboard. It's going to be a tight one all the way to the finish. Here it is, Final Boss and Warriors fighting for Top 8. Here we go, it's do or die time for both teams. Final boss was up two to one, but after that last game, we're all tied up. Game number five will decide which team is going to be eliminated from the tournament and which team will place within our top eight. Now you want to talk about an exciting game five. This map is going to give everyone who's watching a panic attack because no one's going to know what's going on. There's so much to do in this map. Incredible shots by Snakebite. I'm already excited it's only four to four. And this is probably the most practiced map out of any of them here in rotation on the pro circuit. This is one of the maps that actually came with the game disc. Snakebite starting off super strong. Scott, you're going crazy. What's going on? I, I just can't believe he gets into accidental melee on Victory X and then cleans him up and then he's finally taken down. Snakebite's playing awesome. I don't even know if that was accidental. I honestly think that might have been a call out from his team listening so well right now, this Warrior squad. But I'm going to extend on a point. This map right now, it's not going to be a stalemate. We're not going to see these teams slow it down anytime soon. There's this no is hiding, gonna be baby. Hell yeah, well, it's well, going to be exciting. Well, did a great job at hiding in plain sight, but there was no way that was a call. You're giving this team way too much credit. It was accident. Scott's still defensive. Right now, though, you are watching Snakebite and crew take an 8-7 to seven lead. This one is going to be tight all the way to the finish. Looking around here, Snakebite is going to be taking out Robbie B and Evil Might Warrior picking up big kills. They are controlling the landings, and so far that is shown to be the key to victory on this game type. Robbie B being forced back by Ogre 2. Evil Might Warrior trying to help out, finishing off two kills. Meanwhile, Strong Side is on a killing spree. Four Warriors, they are now up 13, make that 14 to nine, a five kill lead. Now the unorthodox play style of Warriors on this game type, by putting Snakebite top middle, Robbie B's bottom middle, and Strong Side's patrolling the base, is really catching final balls off guard, and they don't know who to attack first because all spots are very vulnerable for them. 15 to 10, five kill lead still by Warriors, and this one actually slowing down, guys. What's happening? Yeah, well right now, both teams Realizing that this is game five, this is the do or die game for their tournament lives right now. They're not going to want to be pushing in and charging without really knowing exactly what the other team is. Snakebite picking up another double kill. We're on board with Strong Side, the 2007 national champion. Getting punched around here, and Hologram somehow dodged another melee. He's an Elamite Warrior. Check out the teamwork. These guys have been playing together since around 2004. Grew up nearby each other, about 30 minutes away. And finally, they're back on the same team. First time we've seen that since 2006. I absolutely love it. And there we see just the natural chemistry coming through. Warriors still up 21 to 17 after three minutes. Impressive, impressive teamwork there. Excellent communication, strong side. Didn't even get nervous. He knew his teammate was gonna come and help him out. And if he didn't grab that health back, I was gonna freak out. Strong side right now just hit the landing because they have you have two guys one shot. It looks like he's got a a buddy down low, and they're just using the duo system right now. Strong side with no shield, still deciding to lift up to help out, and that is going to cost him. That was a free kill for I Got Your Pistola. Yeah, but great plays right there by Strong side. Just killed Victory X bottom middle, picked up that evade. I wish he would have stayed a little bit longer bottom middle, regained his shields. But talk about escaping. He escaped that last play with one red bar left. I can't believe he got out of there. Always staying alive for an extra five seconds. I don't know how the kid does it. Right now you're watching I Got Your Pistola 2010 Best Overall Player voted on by the pro players. Also voted to have the best close range combat, but so far in this game, Pistola has been all about the medium range kills. And check out the reaction time. Looking up and hitting the stick on Snakebite in the background, Pistola is just amazing. Keeping the momentum in his team's favor, Pistola single-handedly is going to win this game for his team if he has to do every single thing. 31 to 26, a five-kill lead still from Warriors. The final boss unable to close the gap. 
But remember, in game two, they were down by 13 and they were able to turn it around. I'm looking for final boss to have a strong comeback right now. They have all four members alive. They're controlling the top. They have three of them running together and Pistola's on an awesome flank. Yeah, there's a great play right there by Pistola. Finishing up a one shot on strong side. But he knows that the Warriors right now are at blue base. And he knows that his help is at red base, so he's moving back here. Smart play by him. Get out of there, Cam. All kinds of grenades coming after Victory X. Pistola trying to watch the back. Snake Bite, though, is going to drop down behind both players, pick up the double. They now have another four kill lead. Warriors still staying on top. Snake Bite is doing nothing but impressing me this entire grenade. This entire grenade. This entire game. Great grenade by Pistola. He is getting every double kill imaginable. Headshots from Pistola, 35 to 34 as final boss is on the comeback. Chris, who is doing the work over there outside of Pistola? Well, I mean, in general, this entire team right now is doing a great job of using teamwork. They know they were down by three or four kills. But they're using the what, what Warriors was using, the buddy system now, and it seems that they're doing a great job at controlling the landings. 37-36, just a one-kill game. Remember, one of these teams will be knocked out of the tournament. The other one will continue to compete in our final eight. It's all tied up at 37. This game coming to a close. Just 12 kills away now from Warriors. 13 away for final boss. And right now, Pistola looking for this new sniper. It's about to spawn in about one second. If he grabs it, he can be real dangerous with it. I love having you up here counting down the power of the lead. Pistol finally feeling it's safe to make a move, but knowing that he's red health, he's gonna let Ogre 2 grab it, and smart decision as Ogre 2 is gonna clean up the headshot on Snake Bite to tie up the score at 40. And a good job by Pistola going top middle, grab these nades. Now he can pin this warrior squad and help Ogre 2 get some easy snipes. You see those sniper trails screaming across the map. Ogre 2 is doing some damage, hitting bodies, no one in position to clean up the kills. Now he's cleaning up his own kills, hitting the shot on Elamite Warrior. That's number 41. Victory X is going to get a beatdown on strong side to take the final boss lead, 43 to 41. Shooting through the smoke, Ogre 2 almost hit the shot on Robbie B. Final boss with all the momentum at the end of this game. Once again, Warriors falling apart in a team slayer. Strong side trying to lead his team back into it, but Ogre 2 listening to the callouts is going to rotate, pick up the 46 kill, and check that out, Scotty. Put the sniper in his back pocket, charging out with the DMR. Ogre 2 leading his team with 15 kills. And it looks like he's not stopping, getting the call out that strong side's injured down low. He drops down, but knowing he's vulnerable, he needs to get up top. They have him pinched as it looks like Ola was just standing on top of their spawn. Great job, and he's not even overextending. Good job right now to stay alive and work with his teammates. 46 to 46, it's all tied up. Don't count out Warriors yet. And now 47, 47, I don't even know who to watch here. Ogre 2 trying to help out his teammates, feeling pressure coming from both directions. Looks like they're going to put a three-man charge over on Elmite over here at the red health pack. Strong side and Snake Bite charging out to help out. They take down Ogre 2. Snake Bite with 19 kills at this point, going for number 20. He gets it on victory. He's charging. Fear itself for number 50. Pistola's there as well. Snake Bite is pinned. Pistola trying to finish it. This one can go either way. 50-49 Warriors up the final boss, Snake Bite with 20 kills.